Hi, and welcome to Benzoc Denim Talk. We've just released another collab for our five year anniversary, and today we're here with the mastermind behind this product, Celia. Celia is the founder of Blueprint Amsterdam, a natural indigo dyeing studio. We produce a special batch of our pocket tea and Henleys, and Celia turned them blue. So Celia, can you tell us a bit more about what Blueprint is and what, what do you do? Uh, well, Blueprint is a, is a studio where we do natural dyeing, mostly indigo. We create special and unique handmade items, all actually denim related. Only stuff that is actually forgotten. So all forgotten techniques we breathe new life into. It's, we're based in Amsterdam and I learned the craft in Japan. Uh, so um, about our collaboration, um, can you explain um, how you can turn this white garment into this beautiful indigo blue piece? How does it work? What, which steps are necessary to create this? Well, in first place, uh, the fabric needs to be scoured. So what, what is that? Scouring means cleaning uh, the fabric. So we make sure all the starch, uh, which uh, is used during production of a fabric, is washed out. Okay. Yeah. So you open the fiber up for, uh, so it's ready for dyeing. Then when that's done, we start dyeing. So you... And yeah. it's all by hand. Only by hand. Yeah. Each garment is dyed separately, so every time uh, we, we take one tea and put it into the fat with our hands very deep into the fat and into the t-shirt, make it nice and wide and so it has space to... How long? About one, eight, two minutes. And then we take it out and then it's light green. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you think, uh, but then uh, it needs to oxidize and then when the air reaches the fabric, uh, it turns blue. Wow. And then we don't just do that once. With these t-shirts we've done that five a six times. And do you need to do anything else in between? Do you need to rinse them or...? Uh, sometimes we rinse them in between to see how uh, how well it's, uh, it's taking. Okay. So otherwise you would only see that at the end. And then um, at the final, when we think, okay, it's good, then we, we start rinsing it. And actually the rinsing part needs a lot of attention. Because if you don't do that right, then uh, yeah, things can happen with the color. You can get like, uh, like spots or weird creases or stuff like that. The biggest challenge actually uh, of the dyeing of a garment is I guess the, the creases. So if you want a, a uni dyed, uh, in hand dyed t-shirt, it's the biggest challenge to take it out of the fat. And because the fabric is wet, it starts pleating. Yeah. yeah and you immediately need to open it up and make sure okay. it completely oxidizes. After the rinsing, um, every t-shirt has been into a bath of vinegar and water overnight which makes sure the uh, indigo uh, stays as much as uh, possible uh, attached to the fiber. Oh, so, so it doesn't bleed that, that much, basically. Yeah. Then in the washing machine again, to get rid of anything what could still bleed, and then drying, and then only after everything is dry, we can see is it the right color or not. Yeah. Is it not the right color, then we need to uh, do the process once more. Wow. So uh, how long? Does one t-shirt take to uh, to dye in total, like all the steps together? At least an hour. Wow. Per t-shirt. So one hour of uh, real craftsmanship per t-shirt has been put into into it. Yes. That's great. A lot of love. <laughs> <laughs> so you mentioned uh, vinegar uh, to reduce bleeding. Mm -hmm. As we know, natural indigo products are notorious for bleeding. Uh, but do you have any tips? for uh, the consumer to take care of their, of their indigo dyed garment? I would say uh, only wash it when you think it's really necessary. But then again, washing is fine it's, with this. Yeah, but that's basically with every piece of clothing. Yeah, yeah. true. <laughs> but this only actually, in my opinion, becomes nicer with washing. Yeah. Same yeah. like denim. Yeah. Um, and I would recommend maybe not to uh, rub yourself against the white leather sofa of your mother-in-law if she would have one. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> so, thanks Celia. Um, the teas are now available in our webshop. Um, and as always, like and subscribe to our channel to be the first uh, to get updates on our brand. Thanks again for watching. See ya!